Well, good day and welcome to you. It is Doce de Mayo, Pente, Pente y Dos. I hope you're having a great day wherever you happen to be. My name is Gary Willing and as always, I want to welcome you to Search for Signs. And just point out, if you want to know more about this information, I think the best thing to do is start to look into it for yourself in some kind of way. You can do it however you want to do it, of course, but I do have some links to get you started if that's what you want. Uh, They're in the description portion of every one of these videos. So they go to websites that pertain to this information and then you can actually see if there's any truth to it, I'm sure, for yourself or not. All right. Now, I do want to give some shout outs to some people who gave, um, who took the time to comment over the past month. Uh, I've been doing this over the last few videos and it just feels right to do it. So I like doing it just to thank people for taking the time out of their schedule to comment. Uh, Von Sal, Robert Keller. Um, let's see. Rick Todd, of course. Trout Soul Tub VWJ. Thanks for the three thumbs up. Evan Bella Adam, as always, thank you. Mitchell Joseph apparently is uh, someone who loves mushrooms unconditionally. <laughs> I can't help but think you're thinking that I'm like on drugs. That's why I'm saying this. <laughs> I'm sure that's the reason why. Uh, XXYX, thanks for the three hearts along with Cliff Son Ajong. Now, I wanted to swing back. Um, and read a comment coming from XXYX, um, and this is what she said. No one is allowed to have an opinion anymore. I'm a Democrat. If I disagree with, say, trans women and women's sports, I'm a fascist and a racist and a horrible person that doesn't deserve the right to speak. So, Democrats are not Democratic, and I'm a Democrat. They're against freedom of speech. Republicans are more open-minded nowadays than Democrats, so wow. I don't know who you've been hanging out with, but man, they are tough if that's what they're saying to you for just having an opinion. Wow. Might I suggest speaking the truth and running like hell? <laughs> no, I, I'm just kidding. You know, I think what we're all coming up against is the divisions in thought. You know, I was thinking about what you said the other day, and I meant to comment about this in a, a video or two ago, but um, we're, you're coming up against two types of divisions in terms of thinking, right? You got the right wing and left wing, and, and you live in the United States, so you say you're a Democrat. Of course, you identify more with being a Democrat than a Republican. Now, I don't necessarily agree, and you can disagree to disagree, I guess, that uh, Republicans are quote unquote, more open minded than Democrats. I think it's depends on who you who you talk to for sure. You know, I mean, um, I think that there are extreme radical left people and then extreme radical people to the right. But here's the thing. This is what I was thinking is to not be afraid of the divisions and I, I'm saying this also to remind myself of this, because sometimes it can get rather daunting and confronting by watching the news on both sides. I do take the time to watch both the right and the left. I, I do talk. I do tend to um, watch more left-leaning news media than the right, but because I, I like the approach that they have more than the right, but. I do have an ability to kind of say, okay, that's enough, or I don't agree with that, and I just don't follow it right away based on that, right? But so it can, when you're engrossed in it, it can be very, it can, it can be rather confronting, you know? And, but yet, if you step back and look at it, and based on some of the articles that I've read from Benjamin Krim's Master, the, the divisions in thought are because of man's, we're coming up on a choice to make. And Maitreya is going to present this choice in the not, dear, not too distant future for every one of, of humanity that we either come together as a family, accept the principle of sharing, bring about peace, end war forever, or die. And that's the decision that we're going to have to make. And it's not that anything is going to kill us. We are going to kill ourselves. We're not going to get the environment 
squared away in time, perhaps, or militarily it will come to the point that uh, we will use nuclear weapons against one another. We have the technology to do it. You know, so that's the choice that we're making. Now, it might not seem, you know, logical as to why we have to go through this, but apparently we have to go through this. So as tough as it is, as painful as it is for us to see even the divisions within ourselves in our own ways of thinking, it's important to understand that this is all a part of the process. It's bringing everything to the surface. It's bringing all the corruption to the surface. And when, we, when, when you see these things, it's painful. You know, what's the, what's the saying? You know, um, I once was blind, but now I see. But it doesn't necessarily mean you like what you see now that you can see. Right? Sometimes it's quite painful what you can see. But the other thing, too, I was going to say is why, why identify with being a Democrat? You know, why identify with being a Republican? You know, use Maitreya as an example. You know, when you see him uh, and recognize him out on TV and so forth, you'll see someone who doesn't identify with either political party, any religious group, any country, or any line of thinking or thought. He can go from one to the other to the other without, with, without having to cross a bridge to get to it. They don't have to cross a bridge to get to him. No up or down. You know, he's not above anybody. He's with everybody kind of deal. Nobody's above him, you know, that kind of thing. And so when you hear him speak, and, and, you'll, and we all will hear him speak to Republicans and Democrats, Israelis and Palestinians, um, you know, Eastern th type of thinking, Western type of thinking, it doesn't matter. You'll see somebody who's free to be able to speak to whoever they want to, whoever wants to speak to him and he can, whoever he wants to speak to in order to bring us together. But when you, I think, and I know you're asking me my opinion on this, but when any one of us identifies with any political group, I think our freedom of speech goes out the window because now we're following something else other than what's in our heart. Hope that makes sense, you know, but, you know, it's important not to identify with anything, really, you know, uh, or as anything other than who you really are. And that's what Maitreya says. You need honesty of mind, sincerity of spirit, and detachment. We need to practice those things moment to moment to moment to moment to moment to see that just because you say you're a Democrat, that already proves that that is not who you really are. You know, wrong identification is what's causing the pain and the suffering within all of us as individuals, as groups, as nations, as a, as a world as a whole. And the reason why we have the divisions is because people do have wrong identifications. But eventually we'll start to see ourselves as the truth of who we are, that we are, we are one, for one thing, but we're also souls that we're not what we thought we were we we should be identifying with. So hopefully that helps. All right, now um, let me get on with the shout outs here. Thomas Lynch, of course. Uh, Meryl T, much love to you too. Um, let's see who else, who else, who else, who else, who else. We're getting to it. We're getting to it. Those other ones I've the other people I've actually already giving shout outs to Jose Gonzalez Jr. I know you don't agree with what I have to say, but thank you for taking the time to comment. And Richard Kennedy, he wrote, without love, there can be no peace. You know, I thought about what you said, if you're listening, Richard, that, um, you know, it's exactly what Maitreya says. But the question would be, what is love? You know, because the reason why I say that's what Maitreya says, A, it's the truth, but B, also, it, he wrote it to me in a, when I had a Maitreya experience in 93. When I was touring music in Japan, I wrote a peace sign, a heart, and a happy face, and signed my name. Peace, love, happiness, right? You need peace. You know, I was saying peace. I mean, it's a popular saying, you know, using those symbols. You get peace, then heart, then happy face. He switched it and made it a heart first, peace, and then happy face. And I always took that to mean you got to have the love first, just like you're saying, before you can have peace and then the happiness and the trust and the, and the tranquility and the, you know, that you desire. But it, you have to have the love first. But the question is, what is love? Especially on a global scale when it means world peace. What is love? You know, well, of course, it's the principle of sharing. That's where it starts. It's nations sharing resources with one another. The, according to Maitreya, is the only way to bring about manifested love on this planet. That's love and manifestation, really, is sharing. It will bring about trust. It will bring about the peace. People always ask for proof. The proof that I always bring up is check out the Marshall Plan. It's right there in Wikipedia. You can, 
You can look at all the nations that participated in it, how long it took them to get the Marshall Plan up and running, who were the key players and the figures to, to get it done and so forth. And But the end result of it was those nations have a trusting relationship with one another. It's not perfect, but it's definitely better than some of the other nations that are on the planet with each other. You know, So if we just applied that principle to those nations that are distrustful, we'll start to see the same kind of trust amongst those nations. All right, now, um, I want to end the article with a very, very meaningful article for me. It's The People Awaken, and it's written by Benjamin Krim's master. Of course, you can go to the Share International site, click on the tab that says Articles by the Master, and read this article for yourself. If you do this and you re read it, you can... In internalize what he's saying a heck of a lot better than just hearing me read it to you. Alrighty. It may seem impossible to believe, or so much wishful thinking, but from a higher viewpoint of your elder brothers, significant changes for the better are taking place. Throughout the world, we see a growing movement towards unity and justice and a growing realization of the absolute necessity for peace to reign if humanity is to continue on its path of evolution. This represents a huge step back from the brink of self-destruction. There are many, of course, who still conceive and perfect the tools of war, waxing rich and powerful in this deadly trade. The people, however, are awakening. A different drum is beating a new rhythm, and the peoples respond. In almost every country, men are sensing a new light, a quickening thought, a rising hope. Freedom, justice, and peace are beginning to be felt as nearer, more real, more possible of attainment than ever before. Global communications are giving men a new sense of themselves as one humanity. This new awareness is not complete or perfect, to be sure, but we see clearly the beginning of a new and hopeful trend in this direction. This indeed gladdens our hearts and betokens correct response to the energies of the new time. When Maitreya steps forward and begins his open mission, this trend will magnify and become the aim and purpose of men and women of goodwill in every country more and more men will understand that despite the differences in color, race, and religion, men and women everywhere are one, that they require the same justice and freedom, which some believe is theirs alone by right. Maitreya will emphasize the utter necessity for peace and that the complete renunciation of war can only be achieved by trust. Sharing alone, Maitreya will affirm, can engender that trust. Thus will Maitreya speak. Thus will he foster the sense of the one humanity and the need for sharing. Needless to say, not all men will respond to Maitreya's call for unity and brotherhood. But as the voice for reason, of reason and justice penetrates the hearts of men, more and yet more will see the truth of his insight and the necessity for change. Thus will it be, and thus will men awaken to the light of truth that is among them, and will see him as their leader and guide. Gently yet firmly he will coax men to act in their own highest interests. Like an elder brother, he will lead the younger members of his family step by step towards their own truth. This time is not far off. In truth, is very near. Watch and listen for the rising voice of the peoples of the world as hope and joy alike arise in their hearts. Then will you know that the wheel has turned, that the pain of poverty and injustice will be no more, that the blasphemy of war is renounced forever, that the law of love has found its rightful place in the hearts of men and women everywhere in this, our world. Remember to take action and help SOP save our planet. Thanks for listening, and we look forward to talking to you again in future videos.
Thank you.